And at that point, everyone just stopped doing what they were doing and the room was quiet. Robert Clopton recalls a tragic day 50 years ago when the iconic civil rights activist was killed in Memphis. As the saying goes, every th thousand Dr. King's life journey. was cut short, but his push and message of equality still resonate with people across the country. Sheena and Bo Williams are community activists who helped put today's commemoration together. We're here to let his message live on. So we're a living testament of his, uh, his ideas, especially his radical ideas toward the end of his life. Reverend Tony Allgood was 18 years old when Dr. King was assassinated. I, I was shocked. I was devastated. All good, a civil rights activist himself, worked with those who knew Dr. King. It was really, I guess, what the young people would say today would, would be awesome because you had these people that had risked their lives, had gotten beat up in Selma crossing the, the, uh, the bridge and had given their lives to the civil rights movement. Uh, they were they were very uh, warm, uh, very friendly, and very supportive. Till this day, all good and many others continue Dr. King's legacy, including helping the poor. Uh, there were 40 million people living in poverty in the United States 50 years ago. Today, it's 140 million. So this is the, the Poor People's Stand King is literally created by Martin Luther King in the last two years of his life. This is what he wanted us to continue. This is what he wanted us to do. As people remember the life of Dr. Martin Luther King, they say one thing is important, teaching his message to children. Because it's important that you know, he sees this, he uh, knows you know, the truth, the, the history. Hopefully what I can share with the younger generation, they can pass it on to other generations to come.